Want to make it easier to receive cargo in the warehouse and keep it organized? Join me for this video to find out how Magaya helps you get it done. Hi, I'm Franco from Magaya Customer Support. With Magaya software, you can receive information about incoming cargo in advance of its arrival, convert a quote, book in or pick up order, or create a warehouse receipt manually. For this video, we'll show you how to create a warehouse receipt manually. Go to the warehouse receipt list or document view and click add. All the details you enter here will fill into the document. You can start on any tab, but we'll start on the general tab and explain each one. Some fields are automated such as transaction number, date, time, and employee name. The issued by field is your company name. If you select a destination agent, they can see the status of this transaction in LifeTrack. If you have a bonded warehouse and configured it, options appear here. If not, you won't see them. On the Shipper and Consignee tab, you can select from your list of customers, vendors, or agents. The client to bill is set to the ultimate consignee by default. This is the entity used for the generation of the charges. Use the other fields or leave them blank as needed. The Supplier tab gives you fields to enter details normally found on a commercial invoice. For example, if you have an invoice or PO number, enter it so it will display on the warehouse receipt document. If individual commodities have their own invoice numbers, enter those on the commodity screen later. On the Carrier tab, select the carrier who brought the cargo to your warehouse. Enter other details if needed. The Commodities tab is the place to enter the commodity, also called cargo or item. Look at the Add button. It has two options, one for loose items and one for vehicles if you have the vehicle feature active for your account. Let's add a commodity. I will add a loose item, but you have options to enter many types of cargo here. If you have items predefined in Magaya, select one in the commodity dialog box from your list, or just type in the description, pieces, dimensions, or weight. If you have a default receiving location set up, it will fill in here. If not, select a location or create one. Leave any fields blank you don't need. Click OK to save the commodity. The items assigned to a location will have a status of on hand. It's better to have the locations and zones defined in advance, but not required. If your customer wants loose items palletized, click the Repack button and select the package type and the items to repack. To add a container or pallet, click the Add Container button. Select the container or pallet package type. There are many options here. You can even add your own types. Type in a description, dimensions, and weight. Leave any fields blank you don't need. To copy an item on the Commodities tab, Right-click it and select Add Copies. Another fast way to receive items is to use a dimensioner. It captures weight, dimensions, and photos all in an instant and prints labels. That's what this capture button here is for. Go to YouTube to see a dimensioner in action. Let's look at the Charges tab briefly. While receiving, you may not have time to add charges such as storage, handling, repacking, shrink wrapping, or other services you provide. Don't worry, this can be entered later. You can also set up charges to be added automatically to every new warehouse receipt or create a recurrent invoice for storage charges. See our knowledge base to learn more about the automation features in the software that help you work faster and smarter. Another important tab in the warehouse receipt is Attachments. Here you can add files or photographs of cargo from your computer or by using the Binder app. If the driver gives you a packing slip when dropping off the cargo, you can scan it and attach it here. The other tabs are optional. Click OK to save. Here's the document created for you. You can change the template in the Actions menu. Try one, you can always change it back. Before we close this video, let's take a quick look at the warehouse receipt list. In the list view, you can choose columns, then filter and save each view. Right click a warehouse receipt to set it on hold so it cannot be released. Note that the status must be on hand to do this. Explore the Actions button in the list to see reports and more. Another important list that helps you find cargo details is the commodity list. Explore these actions and columns such as related transactions, SKUs or tracking numbers and get a view of the whole process for any item. See our knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.